Breaking news. I'm in a studio now, and Lane is here too. What's up? Hello and welcome to episode two of The Tiger Cage. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize. I am a little congested right now. I'm getting over being sick, but I got a negative COVID test, so it is not that. I'm very thankful it's not that. Lane, there's a lot of COVID going around uh, in our yeah. area. It's insane. Yeah, it's not good. The first episode of The Tiger Cage is actually the video I made about the Raiders, the preview for the Bengals and Raiders game. It wasn't named that at first because honestly, at that point I didn't even I didn't even really think of using the studio here and everything. And I'd like to say thank you to Ernie um, for letting me use the studio and Lane very much for having me set all this up and being able to use it. I'd also like to correct something in that first Bengals and Raiders preview video I made. I said last year the Bengals only won three games. We actually won four games. So don't want to take away any wins we could squeak out that year. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Bengals and Raiders game. And that was a great game. The Bengals won it. We actually uh, won our first playoff game, which I'm very happy about because it has been 31 years. And I was around for 18 of that 31 years. And it was torture. Uh, like I said, it was a really good game. The Bengals won it. It was. It was sad to see Derek Carr lose where he's never won one, but again, that's that's sports where there can only be one winner. Next, I missed, because I was sick, I didn't make a video about the Titans before it, so I'll talk about it now after. Uh, that game, I was literally screaming at the TV. I don't know, did I tell you that? Yeah, yeah was, you mentioned that you were. I was literally screaming at the TV and so mad. It's just the typical story. Mike Hilton, man's a legend. <laughs> he went, no, he's crazy. Okay, it's the typical story with the Bengals. The line needs some fixing. We got mixing. <laughs> I'm sorry. The line needs fixed. Not even that we need new people. I just, I don't know. We bring in new people every year and there's still a problem with it. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, I ain't blaming nobody. I'm not saying anything like that. You know, I'm just saying like that's our that's our weak point. The defense was nuts. They went crazy. They they saved that game, and then Evan McPherson basically won the game. But right, right there, there you go. And then I love that picture because of Mixon's face and. Logan Wilson, right here. He got basically the game saving pick. Uh, I know it was tipped, I believe, by Eli Apple, and then Logan Wilson picked it off. Joe Burrow threw that great pass to Jamar Chase to set us up for field goal range. I definitely didn't just drop my lid. It happens. Yeah. Okay. Um, Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase, of course, that connection for to set us up for field goal range. And I believe, no, I was wrong. I thought I had a picture of that. Uh, Evan McPherson's field goal, nuts. I went nuts. I was screaming again, of course. It sounds like I've been screaming right now. All right, next we are going to talk about the Chiefs game. One game. we got to win one game and we are in the Super Bowl. One game. One game. 
Did we not win one game one against game. a team we already beat? Speaking of that, me and Lane actually got to go to that game when we beat the Chiefs. Yep. So Which we, was it was pretty awesome. We witnessed it. We know it can be done. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Baby. We're having technical difficulties, but we will. Please stand by. We're having Please. technical difficulties. Please stand by. Our first show is going a little rough. Your show will return shortly. Please just stand by. This should have it. There we go. Yay! First show jitters, but we'll get through it. It's all good. The computer's nervous. This game was nuts when we went. And then, actually, if, you've never, if you haven't seen anything about that game, we won it by field goal again. We like to do that. We like to give me heart attacks and win by field goals. But Joe Burrow, his nameplate where it says Burrow, let me see if I can, right here where it says Burrow back here, got ripped off. Some, a, def, a defensive lineman, I can't remember who it was, got through and went to tackle him and grab him and just ripped it off. And he played the rest of the game without a name tag back there. Again, our defense killed it like normal. Our offense was actually killing it there, even the line too. So that's what I'm hoping with the Chiefs one. I'm really hoping we play like we did last time, if not better. Because last time, obviously, we won. But we played really, really well. And I like having my pictures here. That might actually be it. I think that's it when he got his name tag ripped off right there. Yeah. That man's dangerous, though. We have to watch. We have to watch him. We have to... That's what I'm saying. If we let the game get away from us, we're done. Because it's the Chiefs. I mean... If it was a different team, and you let the game get away from you, it's like, okay, maybe we can come back. With the Chiefs, and you're done. You let it get away, you ain't coming back. Because Patrick Mahomes will just get out there with 13 seconds, like he did in the, uh, Bill, yeah, the Bills game, 13 seconds, and go score. Y'all, okay. You, I hadn't met you yet for this. Right. But last year. The Bengals were done. They'd won their four games and were not done in the, what, not in the playoffs. He was killing it all year and everything, and the Chiefs went to the playoffs. And I was a big hyped about them and watching Mahomes and everything. Well, this year's different. The Bengals are in, the Bengals are in contention to win a daggone Super Bowl. I'm sorry, Mahomes. You're still amazing. You're a good guy, but go on, Bengals. Who day? Let me see if I got any more pictures. I do. I forgot. But I forgot that was the next one. This is after we beat the Chiefs. They call him Joe Cool for a reason. Look at him. You see, him? he just—he's yeah. just cool. He just yeah. sitting there. He just got a win, but he's very relaxed. Well, that like, look at him. That's the thing about him. Like he looks like now he could just walk out there and go to McDonald's and like. You yeah, know what I mean? Like if he's you just you ever want to go to McDonald's, if you ever want to go to McDonald's, I'm down, man. Yeah, you know, like, Pick me up. I'll get it. that's just kind of like the demeanor he has. It's like, okay, I won. Let's go get a Big Mac. Let's, yeah, let's go get a Big Mac. I'm hungry. No, I just won. I'm no, hungry. Now I want some fries. Okay. The deal is, I don't know how much you've seen of it, but we beat the Chiefs. That pushed us into the playoffs, and we won the division, everything. Joe Cool. We beat the Raiders. I think, I think there was something where they, like, misquoted him or something. They asked him about the game, how was it, and he was like, I think they said it was cool, but he actually said it was fun. Like, you just won your first playoff game in 31 years. And you're like, yeah, it was fun. But that was his whole thing. He was saying, one's not the standard. Like, we want to go further. Right. Our big thing this year was, I think it was created by C.J. Uzama. He said, like, why not us? Why not the Bengals? And he said that early in the year. Why can't we go in the Super Bowl? Why can't we win a playoff game? Why not us? I mean, there's like Chiefs, yeah, they're going to do great. The Bills, they're going to do great. The Bucks with Tom Brady, yeah, they're going to do great. Why not us? I love that. After the Titans game, I don't know if you've seen this either. Um, I believe it was Joe Burrow in a press conference said that they're changing it to it is us. And I think it was actually DJ Reader, our defensive lineman, that said changed it and came up with that. And Joe Burrow said, we're tired of the underdog narrative. And I can't remember the rest of the quote. But basically, like, oh, we're here to take it all. Like, we're here to win. We're not. That's what I'm saying. 
we can't get to this game, the AFC Championship game, after all this time and just lose and be done. I go home. We'll watch the Super Bowl. We'll watch the daggone Rams or 49ers and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. No, we have to be there. We can't just... There is no... Eh, well, you know. It's a good run. No, it's Dak Armour Super Bowl champions. Alright, I'm gonna get off this one now. Because I'm getting too excited. Speaking of the Rams at 49ers game, the reason I'm bringing this one up in this is because if we win versus the Chiefs, or when we win versus the Chiefs, we will play one of these two. Me personally, I don't have a clue. I don't know, because I think the Rams are gonna destroy them. But then the 49ers beat the Patriot or the Packers. And I would not have guessed that either. And then somebody said, I can't remember who, somebody said that the Rams are 0-6 against the 49ers in like their past six games. And that doesn't make sense to me because the 49ers have like Debo Samuel, uh, George Kittle, and I'll say Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, he's pretty good. That's about it though. And then the Rams are like a super team. So that doesn't make sense, but I don't know. The reason I bring it up, though, is because if we win, when we win, and then if the 49ers do beat the Rams, and it's the Bengals and 49ers, the Bengals have only been to two Super Bowls in their whole franchise history. We lost them both to the 49ers. Literally. Like, made it to the Super Bowl, and then lost them both. They were both to the 49ers. So if we, if we get to the Super Bowl this year, and it's us and the 49ers. We gotta destroy them. We have to. We broke the playoff drought. I survived the 31 year playoff drought. 18 years, whatever. I survived it. We did that. We won the next playoff game. Yeah, I thought of something else. I'll get to that in a minute. That's the next one we need to break. Losing to the 49ers in the Super Bowl. That'd be a great one to break. Last thing, kind of to wrap this up, I thought of as I was saying it. Um, Joe Burrow has never lost a playoff game. He won our first ever, I believe in franchise history, ever away playoff game. He's the only person, only quarterback to ever do that for the Bengals. He's breaking all kinds of records. Jamar Chase said on his draft night, I'm breaking all the records, I'm coming for him. He's definitely doing that. And they're just going nuts. And I'm so happy because for years I've been like, okay, we're, we, made a, we made the playoffs. Okay, we lost. Next year, well, not next year, but like next four years from then, we made the playoffs. Okay, we lost. <laughs> okay, first, first round every time. Lost, 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 lost. So we've won the playoff game, won another one, got to win this one, and then have to win the Super Bowl. That's my prediction. When they say Bengals or Chiefs, what's your prediction? The Bengals have to win the Super Bowl. That's my answer. Lane, do you have a prediction? Yeah, Bengals. Duh. Bengals what? Duh. No, the Bengals what? Duh. I'm looking for have to win the Super they Bowl. They have to win. Duh they have to win. <laughs> That's what the duh is for. Like, duh, they have to win. Okay, I get it now. I like it. I need, I, need, I need to get you a shirt. Who duh? Yes. <laughs> All right. Like I said at the beginning, thank you, Ernie, for letting me use the studio up here. Thank you very much, Lane, for helping me setting all this up and everything. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it with the new setup. This is awesome. This is like having our own show, basically. I mean, I went, I went from like doing my videos just standing up at my house and everything just standing up, talking. Now I got the graphics. You over there, my co-host, host, you know, second host. And then, and then also the studio, which obviously by itself, that's just amazing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one.